Hey 49ers faithful. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're talking about one of the most important games of the season, 49ers vs Seahawks. With back-to-back -back losses to the Cardinals and Rams, this matchup is absolutely crucial for our red and gold. But before we dive into the details, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates. Let's get into it. 1. Pressure on Geno Smith. First up, we've got to talk about Geno Smith. He's been on fire this season, leading the league in passing yards and ranking in the top 5 in completion percentage. But here's the key, Geno crumbles under pressure. When he's in a clean pocket, he's got a passer rating of 108.1, which is even better than our guy Brock Purdy. But the second he's pressured? That rating drops all the way down to 54.4. This is where guys like Nick Boza and Leonard Floyd come in. With their ability to collapse the pocket, it's almost guaranteed Geno will face heat all game. If the Niners can keep the pressure up, Geno will have a hard time getting into any sort of rhythm. No pressure, no problem, but constant pressure? Geno's game can fall apart. What do you think, Faithful? Can Boza and Floyd get the job done? 2. Stopping Kenneth Walker 3. Even if the passing game stalls, we've got another big challenge in Kenneth Walker 3. This dude is a beast. With a YPA of 5.5, over 200 rushing yards, and 4 TDs in just 3 games, Walker is a critical part of Seattle's offense. He's ranked as the highest graded runner by PFF this season and leads in broken tackles. If we want to shut down this offense, stopping Walker is a must. It's going to take more than just our defensive line filling gaps, our linebackers need to step up and close those running lanes. If we can limit his big plays, it'll force Seattle to rely on their passing game, where Nick Boza can do what he does best. 3. No dumb turnovers. Now, let's talk about our offense. The key here is simple, no more dumb turnovers. It's been frustrating to watch our team give away games when we're leading. We've all seen it, up by 10 points, and then a fumble or interception opens the door for a comeback. These aren't turnovers where the defense makes a great play. They're sloppy mistakes, and it's killing us. If Brock Purdy can stay smart and efficient, like we know he can, we shouldn't see these boneheaded mistakes. We need smart football, and we need it now more than ever. Can Purdy keep the ball safe and lead us to victory? 4. Coaching adjustments. Lastly, let's be real about something not everyone wants to admit, the coaching staff has cost us some games this season. Whether it's Kyle Shanahan or D'Amico Ryans, the lack of adjustments during games has hurt this team. Even players like Nick Boza have subtly called it out. For a team led by supposed football geniuses, this year's coaching performance has been disappointing. This game is a must-win not just for the players, but for the coaching staff too. If we lose, it could be a tough road ahead for some folks on the sidelines. Shanahan needs to adjust and lead this team better if we're going to turn the season around. Alright, Faithful, what do you think? Can we bounce back against the Seahawks? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more 49ers content. Let's go Niners!